It's a Monday, but it's my Tuesday. I got bottling to do, I got keg to fill, got a rack, and I'm going to have a beer while I'm doing it. So, Tuesday night's my bowling night. So, I'm going to be at the bowling alley tomorrow, but I'm going to film this tonight, piece it together, throw it up tomorrow. Oh, and I'm wearing my jammies. So it's not 24 ounces, but I haven't had one of these in a long time, so I thought, what the heck, I'm going to try this. Let's see. So I don't think Les Claypool would mind my listening to his music for my own enjoyment. Did I ever, about, ever <laughs> tell you about the time my son got to meet up with Les Claypool? Yeah. I'll let him tell you. Oh yeah. That's a big beer. Not that big a big beer. This is six percent, I think. So, beer's going into the keg. Behind it is a carboy, what I brewed this past Saturday, and I made one slight mistake. So instead of being a nice, rich, golden color, it turned out black. Instead of two ounces of chocolate malt, I put in eight ounces. I've gotta get these eyes fixed for reading. My, I didn't use my cheaters, I was just looking at it and read 8-8 eight, eight, and 8, but it was supposed to be 8-8 eight, eight, and 2. It's really good though. So, yes. I almost forgot this part. So, I'm gonna do this, see where we end up. A 40 pound sturgeon on 20 pound test. I confess, I shared some of this with Mrs. I guess she likes this stuff. So, these things are fragile. You gotta be careful with them. So, that is the IPA with the New Zealand hops. That's gonna be good when it gets carb on it. Wow, that's nice. There's the bitter, but it's got a real pleasant uh, flavor. You see what, it, it's real cold right now, so I'm not getting a whole lot of aroma off of it. We'll find out what happens. I forgot to mention, tomorrow, no, uh, Wednesday night I'm going to get to spend some time with a friend that I haven't seen in probably at least 30 years, maybe 35 years. It's going to be really good. He lives in Maine now. He's been there for a long time. He's been there and Florida. Anyway, he's traveling through. He's stopping in a friend's house, and we're going to all get together and play guitar and just hang out and have a cookout. It'll be really nice. So, Dan, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Cheers. Why? Live bands can cause problems. I shopped a dance once where the drummer sold homebrew beer at intermission. That was a pleasant experience. Were there fights? <laughs> she sounded horrified. 